Those people who don't know and don't learn or want to know what is Amitabha. The meaning of Amitabha is very profound. It is clearly explained in the sutras. That's why we ask people to listen to Dharma lectures. Amitabha refers to one's own spirit, one's own true spirit. One's own spirit? That's correct. It's what we really are. What we really are? Yes, that's right. So I am Amitabha too? Yes, that's right. Absolutely right. Everyone is Amitabha Buddha. They just don't realize it themselves. No, I don't know myself. Don't know ourselves. That's right. The four characters of Amitabha, Amitofo are Sanskrit. They were translated from Indian Sanskrit. A is translated as none, means without. Mito means finiteness. Four means enlightenment. Combine these together means without limit or infinite enlightenment. What is the meaning of infinite enlightenment? It means that there is nothing about the universe you don't know. You know the past, you know the future, you know the current situation, you know this place, you know the entire universe. This is called Amitabha Buddha. Who is this? It is oneself, not anybody else. What is the purpose of going to the land of ultimate bliss? To restore my innate ability and wisdom. Infinite wisdom, infinite virtue and ability, and infinite auspicious appearance will be fully restored in the land of ultimate bliss. Only after the recovery of these things will you be able to redeem all sentient beings. For those who are deluded and lost, you can come back to enlighten them one by one. So the overall name for all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas is Amitabha Buddha. All sentient beings? Yes, all sentient beings and all Buddhas. All Buddhas are the ones who are already awakened. And people like us in delusion and lost? The deluded Amitabha Buddha? Yes, the deluded Amitabha Buddha. Is this flower as well, Venerable Master? Yes, it is also. There is no exception. Everything is, so there is no way you can depart from it. All your thoughts are known. Whom do you want to hide your thoughts from? Even it knows about your thought. This desk knows, chairs know, and the floor knows. Nothing doesn't know about your thoughts. You can't hide them. This has been proven by quantum physicists of today. Because both our thoughts and our physical body have undulations. They are matter and they oscillate. Without undulations, they will not exist. They exist because of the wave-like oscillations. When they oscillate, the oscillations are received by the whole universe instantly. It will be all received. So the speed is much faster than light. The speed is even faster than light? The light of the sun needs 8 minutes to reach the earth. Once our thought arises, the whole universe will know it instantaneously. If we give rise to a thought now, are the spirits of the aborted babies in the world all here? Yes, they all know it. Not a single one doesn't know it. So you should know and understand that the whole universe is one living entity. Amitabha Buddha represents returning to one single living entity. Yes, to return to one single entity. Amitabha Buddha and I are one. Hence, Mahayana Sutras say, My mind is Amitabha Buddha, and Amitabha Buddha is my mind. This mind is the true mind. It is not the deviated mind, wandering mind. It is not our physical heart, nor our physical mind. No, it is not. Therefore, the merits of chanting Amitabha Buddha are immeasurable. When you chant other Buddha's name, it is only partial, whereas chanting Amitabha Buddha, it covers everything. It is similar in the case with the country. When my thought is with the president, it is a thought of the whole country. When my thought is with the governor of a province, it is a thought of that province only. The thought of the governor is only a partial one. It doesn't cover the whole country. The thought of Amitabha Buddha is a complete one and covers all. May the merit and virtue accrued from this work adorn the Buddha's pure land, repaying four kinds of kindness above and aiding those suffering in the path below. May those who see and hear of this all bring forth the resolve for body 
and when this retribution body is over, be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Amitabha Buddha.